Hey, Post Family, was good? Y'all already know who it is. Of course, it's your boy Thesis back with another video. Today's video, we're going to be going over a little bit of some beat making that I did. And I'm going to incorporate something brand new from UJAM called Stranger. I haven't done one of the actual reviews from UJAM in a while. We're going to see if uh, Stranger is actually Stranger. You guys keep it locked. Stay tuned. As I said earlier, it's been a while, you know, actually I think a year or so since I've done anything uh, UJAM related. I use the melodies, I use a lot of the different soundscapes and it's a synth that basically gives you dark, like melodic soundscapes. So if you think of Stranger Things or anything within that type of caliber, you know, cinematic, just really, you know, great sound and soundscape sounds, then uh, this is definitely something that you guys wanna check out. I'll leave the link in the description so that you guys can peep it out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna go over a beat that I made with it. Let's check out the beat. Uh, I actually now want to go and start showing you guys a little bit of arrangement. I, as you see, I'm using Cubase. If you guys haven't seen this video right here, it's talking about my three reasons as to why I think Cubase is the best DAW. Now, of course, there's so many other reasons. When I stated these three reasons, I stated it because of workflow for myself. If you guys are feeling that and all my Cubase users, drop down in the comment too and uh, shout out Cubase fans all day. But if you haven't been familiar with it, like I said, just check out that video and, and join the fam. Now, usually what I usually do, and let me go ahead and just, we're gonna uh, take these out so that we can focus one at a time, right? Inside of Cubase, there's a sampler, right? You go right here and you click, and then you open up this sampler track. Now you can drag in samples, drums, whatever, loops. I hardly ever use it, but usually I use Serato, right? In this case, I said, let's be different. So I use this drum. And of course, you know, I just played that out on the actual keyboard. So, so it's already chopped up. And then as I chopped it, I played it a little different from how the original was going. That's how I actually started off the drum. And then I just added on, you know, other little elements here and there to the drum. The next thing I did was actually the gospel organs and those came from UJAM synth. Here is the actual synth and uh, there's a lot of different cool sounds in this, right? So of course, if you are familiar with anything UJAM does, they have their own ways of doing their categories and inside the categories, they'll have presets. <laughs> Thank you. 
actual uh, mixing of it doesn't sound. It, it doesn't have a ping pong delay as it's played. So that's that's straight, and then here it is with the ping pong. And what I did was I went and did that with the gospel organ as well. So I basically went down here and filtered it. And when I filtered it, let's go back. As I filtered it, I kept the ping pong and then I added this uh, wah wah effect to it, which is really kind of cool. And then I added a bell, rise hit, a lead. Layers are really, really important when it comes to a great, great sound, especially when you're stacking and then you want to add or take away different variations inside of your actual arrangement. I usually produce all my stuff in one, right? So I'll do my drums, I'll do my melodies, I'll do my bass, I'll do sound effects. I'll do all of that within the first eight bars, right? And then that'll help me to space out how I want to actually arrange my actual music. That's one of the things that uh, I'll say has actually helped out too in structuring because now you already have primarily all your sounds right there. And then as you're building your verse and your choruses and then your your bridges, you know, you have all your stuff there and then you just space it out. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. But uh, I started off the bass. I will say I started off with the bass of playing the gospel organ first from you jam and that helped me to build the drum as i started to do now usually like i said i usually start off with the drum uh but in this case i was playing it out and i recorded the actual midi first and then i built my drum around the actual melody so uh yeah you jam stranger was definitely cool uh if you guys want to check it out like i said drop down to the link in the description uh, all the information is on the website i will make sure that i also leave a link to the website so that you guys can get the specs and all that good stuff but you already know what they have when it comes to their plugins and all that good stuff. So the GUI usually changes, but as far as the feel, the actual make of it, it's all in USIMF, so it's pretty much the same. But uh, again, appreciate you guys for coming through, checking out the beat breakdown, and I uh, hopefully you got inspired to create and be creative, all right? But another one done, another one in the books. You guys already know who it is. It's your boy, Thesis. Peace.